and welcome to the importance of creativity and how to get started. In this video, I'm going to share with you the importance of creativity in the early childhood, art supplies to get started, how to set up a crafting space, how to build an art portfolio, and finally, simple arts and crafts activities to get you started. Finstead. Wow. I'm some more. Can I we can't... shake him a little bit so he moves around? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, my name is Charlotte and I'm the founder of London Art Nanny. And I've been working with kids now for over 10 years in different setups, in schools and kindergartens, running workshops, running um, events, fun fairs, and uh, private classes in London for seven years now. I was born in Finland. I've always had a passion for painting, and just like meditation, it's very calming and stimulating for the mind. The process from starting off on a white canvas to finishing off with a new creation, just with a mixture of different colours, is to me pretty extraordinary. However, for the painter, it's more about the process, and each time you paint the picture, you learn something new. What happens if I add a different colour? How does this affect the light in the picture? If I move the brush in a new way, what type of line does it make? Does the shade move towards you or sink back into the background? We make mistakes and we solve problems and we try again and again. We learn as we go. There is a beautiful forest. It's called beautiful. Before we get started, here's a testimonial from one of my clients. So what does the word creativity actually mean? The use of imagination or original ideas to create something. Inventiveness, synonyms. Imagination, innovation, originality, individuality. So why is creativity important for the early years? Children are naturally creative and playful and it is through play that they learn about their surrounding environments. If I place a block on top of another, I have built a tower, and if I push it, it will fall over. So this means I impact my surroundings, cause and effect. Creative play, art, we as adults can stimulate and support the same human curiosity in children that we are born with. If I press a crayon against the paper, and move my hand. I have created a line. Let me do it again. Positive experiences in cause and effect builds confidence and soon enough making a, a line on a paper when repeatedly done, it becomes a habit, a skill that we master. And soon enough we build upon that skill and the line becomes a circle as the young child moves her whole body to move the crayon around on the paper. And as they build upon this skill, their gross and fine motor skills they develop. And the little artist starts moving her wrist, her hand, and soon enough her tiny muscles in the fingers are strong enough to move the crayon around, to create shapes and objects, cars, animals, and finally letters and numbers. As the children develop artistic skills, self-expression and innovative thinking, they also develop communication skills, focused attention, visual learning, all of which will be in use and built upon throughout their entire lives. When your child learns creative skills combined with confidence, they are more likely to play an active part in school projects rather than the more passive viewers in the background. It adds towards a positive learning cycle which lays the foundations for success. Kids who do art achieve more in all subjects than kids who don't. Tarzan is fighting him and, and the Tarzan is going to beat him. But first he throws Tarzan off the cliff. Brown thing. Water. That. Yes, Henry? This yeah. is a big green. Yes. Hey, look at there. That's what he wears. That's yeah. what he looks like. Everything around you is created. Someone designed the clothes you are wearing and someone designed the house you live in, the phone you are using and the device you're using to watch this video. All of these inventors and designers were once children. And some, I would say, are born more creative 
but it's also a skill that we can build upon already from the early years. Walt Disney, the creator of Mickey Mouse and so many other characters that we all know and love, he started off using crayons and water paints as a child. He took art classes to nurture his creativity. To get started, I would recommend getting these art supplies. A brush and a non-spill water cup, water paint and poster paint, pastel crayons and markers, craft scissors and tape, PVA glue and a glue stick, and masking tape. Store all of these supplies in one box to make it easy to take out and get creative. Okay, let's move on to the setup. Find a space in your home to get creative. I would say under two year olds sit quite comfortably in their high chairs and that also makes it easier to clean their hands before they move on to their next activity. I would recommend investing in a table cover for the older kids because they sit comfortably at the kitchen table already and a floor mat. So you don't need to stress about spillings or anything. You want to keep it as calm and, and nice as possible. See that the light is good. You might want to sit close to a window if possible, or you can invest in a table lamp to keep the light bright. Wear art-friendly clothes. If you have a t-shirt you could wear for art, that's perfect. Or you can wear an apron, because paint do stain. You can buy washable paint, but it's not guaranteed that it will wash out. So preferably wear clothes that you don't mind getting stained. So you don't need to worry about that at all. The less stress about paint stains and mess, the more fun you can have while creating. Play stimulating, calming background music. I usually play classical, like uh, Mozart or Chopin because it has no lyrics, so it's not distracting, and you just play it a little bit in the background, not too loud, just to keep it stimulating. And it's calming for the brains, and it kind of sets the mood. I create art portfolios for the art kids in London, and I do recommend for you to do that at home as well, because it's nice for the kids to have something to look back on and see what they've done during the year. I use a display book like this, and then we fill it out with pictures and tasks throughout the year. Remember to put dates on the pictures. When you choose an art activity, choose something that is age appropriate and something that intrigues your child. So if they're, for example, into uh, dinosaurs, why not make a Jurassic Park? Or if Elsa and Frozen is more intriguing, then why not make a castle out of a box? And remember to use um, recycled materials from your kitchen, because so you can do a lot with that. Bowl! And who's hiding inside? Are you done? No. Here you are. You're, you're such a good penguin. Bravo! Now we can go and play. If you are one of the parents, like my clients, who also want to nurture your child's creativity, I am launching an online course where I will go deeper into the subject and guide you into mastering creativity for your child. I will share tips and tricks to keep your child engaged and which activities to choose and explain why they support and stimulate different parts of your child's development. The result is your child as a confident creator. I will also share a 12-page art portfolio PDF with you guys that I use with the kids in London so that also you can build up an art portfolio together with your child to keep forever. Pre-order through the link below. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful.